The PRs continue rolling in this month as we are in the heart of the track season. In last month's episode, we saw a record number 166,000 athletes submit PRs by the end of the month. What's that number gonna be this month? Stay tuned. You're watching the May Brooks PR Challenge Medal Ceremony. May is special for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is that it's only one month away from June, the greatest month of the year. Why? The Brooks PR Invitational is in June, June 14th to be exact. And it's called the PR Invitational for a great reason. Last year, we saw 80 of 98 finishers run PRs at that meet. So let's take a look back at last year and get hyped for this year. Now, I even said last year I couldn't wait for this year. At that time, I was still 350 days away. Can't wait till next year. How many days left? Let's 300, 350. Now I'm lucky enough to be 14 days away. Man, I tell you, blink your eyes and you're a year older. Run those PRs while you can. And once again this month, any Athletic Net member who submits a PR will be entered into a drawing to win one of 2,500 pairs of this Brooks PR sock given away this season. So let's recognize a few of those athletes right now. Let the ceremony begin. We bestow this badge of honor upon the Athletic Net competitors who submitted a personal record mark this month. Here are just a few of those PRs. All right. Looks like we got a PR in the 400 from the Illinois Class 3A TRB sectional from Gavin Schnoski. More like Gavin Schnozki. <laughs> okay, sorry. But seriously, he PR'd twice in the 400 this month, so let's have a look at his first one. There we go. Now he's, as Ubaldo Rodriguez puts it, looking good. Nolan Anderson pulled out a pair of sprint PRs at the GMC Outdoor Championship in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. I can only assume GMC stands for General Motors because he motored his way to 10.88 in the 100 and a 21.94 for the win in the 200. His first time under 11 in the 100, by the way, only a sophomore. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna need proof that this guy isn't just squatting in a pile of sand. Jordan Witherspoon of Illinois allegedly earned a PR in the triple jump, but I'm dubious. Apparently, it was almost a foot and a half improvement for him. Mm, okay, I'll buy it. Sadler Vio earned a PR at the Missouri Class 3 District 8 meet in the 110 hurdles. And I'm sorry, but am I the only one distracted by how beautifully that hillside is mowed in the background? Madeline Cooper of Atlanta ran some massive PRs to get the win in the 100 at the Georgia 2A State Championships. PR'd first in the prelims, breaking 12 for the first time with an 11.98, and again in the finals with an 11.71. Keith Gaskell brought home a pair of PRs in the horizontal jumps at the 1A SD2 West Sub District meet in Coos Bay, Oregon. He jumped 43 feet 10 inches in the triple jump, which is a two foot PR, and he PR'd in the long jump with 22 feet two and a quarter inches. That earns him the state lead in his division. Here we have a PR from Michael Dewey in Albertville, Michigan in the, in the 800. Well, that's an unconventional technique, but as long as it's working for him, who am I to judge? Man, he was really flying. Wow, a six foot nine and a quarter high jump from Vincent Malone of Junction City, Kansas, pumping up the crowd. And where did that come from? Looks like his previous best was six feet four inches, a five and a quarter inch PR for him. Yeah! Another huge high jump and huge PR from Jalen Jenkins of Kent, Washington, clearing six feet 10 inches, a four inch PR for him. Yeah! see all the PR submissions, go to the Athletic app and search hashtag BrooksPR. To date, we have seen 141,258 individuals submit PRs in the month of May. Take the badge and wear it proudly. Okay, that's all for this month, and be sure to tune in for the Brooks PR Invitational on June 14th. Watch it live on runnerspace.com. And remember, the only way to lose a PR is if you break it yourself. 
We'll see you next month. Go get a PR.